Thousands of chickens have a lot more space thanks to voters. It's a law Californians approved back in 2008. New at 5, 10 News reporter Joe Little went to a local egg farm to see just how much our egg prices will go up. Well, guys, I'm inside here with 8,000 chickens inside one of the new homes here in Lakeside that's meant to comply with Proposition 2. This is all new to these chickens. Get a good bird's eye view. A chance to spread their wings, run around, peck at my legs. Chickens get fed six times a day. These are Frank Hilliker's chickens. About 8,000. He just spent a boatload. $220,000. On this top of the line barn at his lakeside farm. So for a small family operation, it was a, it was a pretty big nut to crack. It houses chickens who lay their eggs behind this orange privacy curtain. Yeah, this is what we do four times a day. The eggs then come out on a conveyor belt for Hilliker to grab and take away. It's a far cry from this. This is the standard caging for raising um, eggs for consumption. The Humane Society supported Proposition 2, which banned cages like this. It gave chickens the right to literally spread their wings. It also means eggs from out of state had to come from chickens with similar rights. Voters approved it in 2008. Our county and this state really said very clearly that they that we do care about how animals are treated. Farmers argued it would drastically raise the cost of eggs. Underlying additional production costs to move from cage to cage free is one penny per egg. Now be honest, is this going to raise the price of your eggs? Well I sure hope so, I gotta pay for all this. But Hilliker says the industry is going to catch up and the prices should come back down once farmers pay off the new equipment. In the chicken coop. I mean, it's just the cost of doing business. Joe Little, 10 News. The Humane Society also asked that Californians look to purchase eggs that, stay, that say cage-free on their packaging. They say that will put pressure on other states to follow suit.